Hey guys and ghouls, it's me Calliope, and today we're going to teach you how to raise someone from the dead. Today we are joined by the Lily Bradbury, knitting aficionado and necromancer extraordinaire. Say hi. Hi, I'm just excited to show you all, you know, what I love. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Okay, okay. So Lily, why don't you tell the viewers a little bit about what we're doing today? Okay, so obviously when um, you reanimate a corpse, it's usually like a person. But for the purpose of time and, well, like I said before, no one's really died recently. So um, we, we were going to do Blanche Killed a Raven the other day. Yeah. And we were going to reanimate the raven, but, um, yeah. She ate it, and you kind of need the flesh. Yeah, it, that's a little important. Okay. So, okay. decorations. Yeah. So instead, we found a recipe on Pinterest for DIY vegan necromancy. And we're going to use a stuffed animal in place of a real body. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. We, we are animal friendly here. So. Absolutely. Yeah, completely vegan recipe. No, real simple. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Okay, so first off, you need the correct setup. So you usually need. 13 candles. Usually I prefer Bath and Body Works because personally, with my experience, I think it's the entrance to hell. So the cauldron is the most important part. So obviously you want something that's not just your everyday like Target cauldron. Like Although for Transfiguration, Target cauldrons are so affordable and so cute. They come in a variety of colors. I am actually obsessed with them. But for Necromancy, it's a little more advanced. Yeah, it's a little, little more complicated. Um, so mine is actually my great, 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 great grandmother's cauldron. Um, so there's a lot of history behind this piece, and um, usually your ancestors are kind of with you um, when you perform the spell. So that's an important part of necromancy. So get the right cauldron. So again, we covered the subject. Vegan rats. Is it? Let me see it. Um, yeah, he's got like a little. Is this? Is this rat tattooing? Um, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I like this little hat. Normally, you would use part of a pig, but since this is a vegan recipe, um, a great substitute is archer parts. So that's what we'll be using. We have, I have a newt, but. What are you guys doing? Um, what is this? Necromancy? Yeah. No, it's not. You, you can't do anything else you rise without Madame B here. There's rules. Okay, but place. Madame B is in, I don't know, somewhere. It, does it matter? You can't. This is a, literally, we're in violation it's of not, fire code. No, it's not. I do accept the candles all the time. Like, you have to I'm have a supervisor. Experience. I am the only one who's doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, she's a like supervisor. Like, wait, 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 okay, 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 you can supervise. Jamara, what? Why? Because it's a fire hazard. Put that this on. is not a fire it's bio hazard. We are working with biohazardous materials. Can you? Why do you have a candle out? Because. Okay. Because. Why am I the only one wearing an apron? Because Lily is a trained necromancer and you're an imbecile. Alright, so before we were interrupted, I'm sorry, I know that's true. Um, we're gonna use I am mute, but since it's a vegan recipe, again, we're using I am potato. So, let's use the kitchen substitution. Yeah, totally. Um, and then. This one was kind of the tricky part. Um, we're supposed to use a um, lung of a virgin. So we just went ahead and stole Sam's inhaler because that's basically the same thing as the lung of yeah, a virgin. That works. A lot of a necromancer, which is pretty basic. Oh, and of course, the most important ingredient. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. Candy corn. Because little do most people know, it is the spookiest and most delicious of sacred ingredients. Let's mix in the ingredients. Yay! Okay. So first, we have our subject, Remy, little chef's hat. That's mine. Next, we're gonna do the artichoke hearts. So, oh, that might be a little bit. Um, and then the uh, newt is next. Don't really have to be in an order, but it's all gonna get mixed up together anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have. Okay, 
All right, now, the most important step, the incantation. Now, it's the most important part, so you guys can't interrupt whatsoever, no talking at all, okay? All right, we're gonna join hands. And this, it's a different recipe for me, so I have the incantation pulled up on Pinterest, so I have to read it off, but y'all can't interrupt. Okay. Serpents and spiders, behold the small rat, call in its spirit wherever it's at. Grab one of the people it's time to respond. respond. Send us a message.